So uh, since my last video, I have been experiencing even more torment and it has spread it out amongst the counties surrounding me. And um, the this form of V2, the, the V2K, voice to skull technology is one of the most severe forms of torture that they can use upon a targeted individual. And this is what they're doing to me. Um, uh, they are um, low vibrational people, of course, but they are people that I am um, aware of who they are. Now, not personally. I don't know um, all of them personally, but I know of them and their voices are very, very familiar. Um, they drive by the homes. A lot of the time I'm able to catch the, the voice of this person talking and then a vehicle would drive past. So nine times out of 10, it is that actual person that is speaking, uh, through the voice to skull, which is a form of a text or an email or voicemail that's, uh, thought to be sent from, uh, not thought that is programmed to be sent by thought alone, but it's some form of mobile app that they're using to um to do this if you guys do not know what voice to skull technology is it's nicknamed synthetic telepathy it's also um, a nickname of uh, uh, voice of god and it has been used in the desert storm the uh, the gulf war and uh, you guys can check that out for any type of reference to it. It is very much real. Um, somehow it has gotten in the hands of uh, regular citizens. So you do know that, you know, any um, um, uh, government agency or agent that was or is a part of the military um, has been able, has, has access to this and has been given this access to uh selected individuals within the community to wage revenge wars on people or there is connections where people can contact um, this group of people that have the access to this this is illegal um, and this is a misuse of power if they're re receiving this information or technology uh, from a federal agency um, they um, they drive past the house every day talking throughout the day they're talking um whether they're talking to me which is uh psychologically um uh, uh triggering me through the emotional harassment that they create um i'm threatened with we're gonna beat your ass which is actual an emotional beat down um where they just talk you know talk about you all day they force memory uh bank flash flashbacks on you um whether they're lies or whether they're real situations that have happened to see if they can get the desired emotion from you. And then they talk amongst themselves to create, to, to build on that, whatever reaction that they receive from you, um, that is negative. They begin to build on that in hopes that it'll drive the person insane or to madness, um, and to violence, um, so that they can get the person sabotaged either in a facility, a mental health facility, or uh, incarcerated. Um, uh, about a year and a half ago, um, I know, you know what? Just last year, in this same month, I was um, um, sent to a mental facility due to the harassment in my old apartment. And uh, this was before I became aware of the voice to skull technology, I just knew that it was uh, called electronic harassment and that people were driving by each day or the surrounding neighborhood um, that I was living amongst had participated in this form of harassment. And it was uh, it was to try to drive me insane. It was to try to look as normal as possible within their community, within the community, but, you know, uh, street theater was telling on a lot of them. It was just like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because the, the correspondence of what is going on within your own mind is being acted out um, with people within around you in the surrounding area that you go out um, and, and, and find them around you. Um, they uh, begin to do the street theater or the directed conversation. That's just eerily strange and intentional, you can actually tell that they're acting um, intentionally 
uh, uh, trying to let you know that, hey, we're probing your mind, we're fucking with you, and we're doing it through electronic devices, mobile apps, emails, you know, certain connections, dealing with the cell phone. Um, they use the cell phone radiation to attack the energetic field around you so they can weaken that energetic field for, um, for um, a better penetration of you. Um, of your energy, of your energy, and so they can get to you emotionally as well. Um, what what I don't seem to understand is why would someone want to create hell in somebody else's life? You get what I'm saying? This uh, I grew up in a very religious family and community, and you know to become an adult and to find out that there's a program uh, such as this. And uh, they're participating in it. M majority of the ones that I thought, you know, spiritual leaders, uh, people who were very prominent in the church are a part of this or involved in some way, shape or form and um, either are forced to not speak on this or they are a part of, you know, orchestrating it. But it was an entire lie. It was an entire lie growing up being told one thing. And that's where the form of control starts. The, the programming begins. They want to program you as young as a child. So in hopes that as an adult, you don't grow up to steer, uh, steer away from what you've been taught, a.k.a. programmed. And if you have, that it's fear tactics that are already side in place to kind of put you back in line. But um, some of the closest people that I have encountered with, have shared intimate moments with, or uh, have shared um, uh, uh, friendships with, have done business with, um, as far as like work in the workplace and things and such, are all participating in this. And they're hoping that if they do enough of this form of torment or torture to me, that they, uh, can get me to, they can successfully sabotage me and, um, and, and place me in, in another facility. Um, you guys, the sick thing about this, um, me personally is that they, they're, they're people that are close to me. They're people that actually know who I am as a, as an individual, um, and who is forcefully trying to change who I am. And uh, I, I cannot stress this enough. Knowledge is power, you guys. Whatever is happening to you, look it up. Research it. Because you're not the first and you're not the last that is going through this proper terminology, proper education about what you're going through is what's going to keep you out of the facilities. It's going to keep you from self-sabotaging yourself. Now, listen... They're going to pull you out of your emotion. They're going to pull you out of your element, out of your character. If they can do so, they're going to do it. And when they do, they're coming, so to speak, is what these, the female voices of this V2K that are very local voices. These are local women that refuse to address me as a woman. They rather be petty and do, you know, shit, sick shit like this. And un it's unfortunate for them as well as men um, it's a, it's unfortunate that they um, have allowed their ego to really be their defense uh, and motive to continue to do this when they know that the time is up. Like it's it's over with for my situation. I'm I'm not gonna stop talking about this. I'm not gonna stop raising awareness. I've already been. I'm already hated. You know, F to be placed in this program, I'm already hated. So if whether I do or I don't. The, their uh, motive is already in motion. And so I'm going to continue to raise awareness. I'm going to continue to inspire others to um, uh, share their experiences. Look, you know, look down in the commentary and, and, and converse with other people that are going through the same thing. Please know that, yes, there are people out here that's posing as real targeted individuals and they're not. They're literally trying to probe people's um, uh, uh, minds by trying to use information that they're given um, against them. Um, so if if uh, if you are amongst the the community on my channel uh, that speak on it 
I do want the perps to know, like, I, I see you. I know when it is one and when it's not. And um, I still provide the information. The reason why I do so is because I want to stand in my truth and in my power. You get what I'm saying? And I know that consistency and self-discipline is what's going to keep me up and going. A lot of these perps don't have that within themselves. If they had self-discipline, they wouldn't have participated in anything like this. You get what I'm saying? If they had integrity, they would have never participated in this. Now, what they see as integrity or self-respect and discipline is a totally different value and belief from an actual targeted individual. Let's just divide it right down the middle and, and, and be able to differentiate the difference between a perp and a targeted individual. Um, so with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I'm hoping that not only did I reach out the targeted individuals who are going through this extensive form of torture along with me, but I'm also letting these perps know, like, I know you coming, I see you coming, and I'm already here. You get what I'm saying? And if you found me, where was I ever lost at, sweetheart? Okay? All right? All right. Peace and, peace and um, protection to you guys. Bye.